Hi guys, my name is Kasha and welcome to my channel today. I hope you guys are taking care, I hope you guys are keeping well and I hope you guys are keeping safe. Today's topic is about the Hacker Project. If you're not aware of what the Hacker Project is, it's actually a collaboration between the Gucci and Balenciaga designer houses. Before I tell you a little bit about the Hacker Project, I thought I'd talk a little bit about, you know, various collaborations that tend to take place. So designer houses like to actually do collaborations um, and sometimes it's between two designer houses. Sometimes it is between a, a celebrity and a designer house. It just entirely depends. And normally what happens is they tend to do it between a higher or top end designer house. So like Gucci or Christian Dior, for example, and then they do it with a lower end um, fashion brand, um, for example, Nike. Um, or you get uh, collaborations, like I said, between uh, designers, uh, houses and uh, celebrities. So you'll have, for example, Adidas that's done with Kanye West, or you'll have like Beyonce, Serena Williams, Cardi B, Rihanna, that's also done collaborations with various uh, designer houses, but it will be it, it pretty much a, when the celebrities do that, it's pretty much around a specific product and they, they, it, they then make it very limited and it's extremely expensive. So just to touch base on, for example, the Christian Dior and the jo a Nike one, they came out with the, um, the Jordan trainers and they range around, I think at the moment, just trying to get your hands on one because it's extremely limited edition, is around 10,000 pounds. So it's very hard to find one under 10,000 pounds unless it is like maybe extremely used and damaged although that is like a serious collector's item so people that have managed to purchase them are probably not using them they're keeping them as you know like a really special collector's item um so <clears throat> moving back to like the hacker project so the hacker project is a seriously cool collaboration which has happened not between a higher um, designer house and a lower fashion brand but actually between two top uh, higher well two top 10 designer houses and that is Gucci and Balenciaga so this launched around April 2021 um, and everybody has been absolutely waiting for this to actually land so people can get their hands on this a lot of people have managed to get some of these um through pre-order and this launched about three weeks ago live on the floor so for the hacker project they had 40 pop-up stores i believe worldwide worldwide that was uh you know put up um specifically to launch these products um and and then obviously some in store so Balenciaga what they've done with uh, some of their products is they actually had like for example in London they actually had uh, one of their artists coming to store and so they he was literally signing some of the um, your you know kind of the the store bags that when you were buying items so that it kind of looked like it matched it was extremely limited edition and obviously he could personalize it with your name which I thought was really really cool um, but in the pop-up stores, which is pretty much where you would go uh, to actually get your hands on these items, um, there was a very limited number of items that went live online. And a lot of those that went live online were not the uh, very much in-demand items. It was mostly, you know, your the ones that they had quite an influx from. So the ones that... Um, were very much in demand you had to go into the store on the monday of launch to actually buy these i think they launched on the 15th of uh, november if i'm correct um and there was also a lot of items that only you could get in store so some of these included some coats and some gucci aces which had like a crystal embellishment on them and i just think they looked seriously stunning so the the aces looked really really cool um, and you couldn't get these online and then there's this really really stunning Gucci coat which I think it looks stunning but you need to be a person to be able to pull this off um, and it's definitely uh, one of a kind collector's keeper item um, only thing is it comes with a 5,000 pound plus um, 
price tag. So the ones without the crystal embellishments you could get online and that was 5,000 pounds. The crystal embellishment, I'm not quite sure how much, but it's it's gotta have been a lot more than that in store. Um, the other in-demand items or the most popular items that I found were the Gucci hourglass items. Um, and that was, uh, the size small and the size medium so basically what Gucci did with this uh, hacker project is uh, a couple of things so they've taken some of the Gucci items and they've actually covered it full on in the Gucci coated canvas so for example like the Jackie Hobo bag which has a mix of canvas and leather they've covered that fully in uh, Gigi Gucci coated canvas and then they've actually put the Balenciaga branding like right across it so it obviously depends on you whether or not you kind of like this and whether or not it is you know too loud because in some cases some of the items are quite subtle and some of the items are quite loud so like I said one of the things they did was marry the two logos together onto Gucci items another thing that they've done is um gone slightly subtle is where they've taken like a, a Balenciaga designer item so for example the uh, Balenciaga hourglass bag and that was fully covered again in the Gucci Gigi canvas coating and then it has just the Balenciaga B hardware on the front I absolutely love that because for me it's like you get Gucci it's got a very subtle B Balenciaga it's the Balenciaga bag so I feel like it's a really nice marry between the two um, and then also what they've done is um, they've done a lot of smaller Gigi items and um, and then some items have had uh, like some of the the puffer the puffer jacket for example which is an extremely in demand item as well is it just had again the um, GG uh, motif on there with some black in it which I think was really nice and then um, they've put the Balenciaga so that is quite loud but that's become also an extremely popular item and it was really hard to get a hold of for a lot of people so they had to go into the store on the Monday to actually get a hold of that um, they've also done um, so a little bit more subtle which um, is they've taken the triple S sneaker from Balenciaga and then they've covered it again in the Gucci canvas and then covered that with the uh, Balenciaga logo. So again, it's a half and half between um, <clears throat> really loud with both logos on there or taking a, a Balenciaga item and being more subtle with just the Gucci canvas. Then if you switched over to the Balenciaga side, they have again done slightly Similar things where they have also taken like Gucci designer bags. So, for example, the mini messenger bag or the mini camera bag, which is an extremely popular bag. Um, and then instead, what they have done is with instead of the Gucci coated canvas, they've done um, a coated canvas in the same Gucci colors, but instead of GG, it's got BB. Um, so you've got that in the beige and then they've also done it in the black um, which you don't actually get on the Gucci side um, and the black is more of a, the oblique jaguar like material material um, so that looks pretty cool I actually like that and then they've also done some baseball caps as well in the same print um, which um, uh, Gucci didn't do any baseball cap so you could go to either side you could go to the Gucci side you could go to the Balenciaga side and uh, you could have a look at both items there are still a lot of items that are still available and I've also seen like quite a few items that was out of stock pop back into stock so you know do keep an eye out one of the items that I would um, for me, I initially thought I just like one item. So at least, you know, I have one item from the collection and the item that I chose was the zip card case. And I absolutely love it because it's fully coated in the GG, Gucci GG coated canvas inside and outside. It's got a, it's like a really, really nice size. It's got a nice si uh, amount of pockets um, as well as, you know, space, extra slip pockets as well and then you can go put your coins in there i think it's a fantastic piece and it's become really really common for everybody if they just wanted one piece i would definitely highly highly recommend that so that's currently retailing at 310 pounds and then on the balenciaga side 
if you really do want something from there i would also recommend their baseball caps they are really really cool in the bb um kind of uh canvas and or bb prints um and that's retailing i think at 320 pounds um so all the prices within the hacker project are a little bit more than um the usual prices um so for example like the camera bags or the mini messenger bags that i mentioned they are on the gucci website for i think 715 pounds and in the hacker project they are 850 pounds so there is quite a jump up um i mean the hourglass back i think on the balenciaga side is about 1415 in uk pounds and it's uh the current price was around i think one seven one thousand seven hundred and forty pounds something like that so um the prices are a little bit more expensive because they are limited they are a special part of the collaboration project i prefer and i've actually seen a lot of other people prefer the items on the gucci side and that's just because it is gucci you know whereas um the items on the balenciaga side it, it just depends entirely i have to say that i actually liked both sides of the scale um but some of the items just for me personally i just think on the balenciaga side some of them erred a little bit on it looks maybe a bit fake um it looks like they tried to take some but it just depends that's just my thoughts and opinions the products are amazing i did manage to get my hands on some of them so do watch out for um my next couple of videos where i actually will be um showing these to you guys it's definitely coming this week but one thing i did want to mention about this 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 project and i think it's purely because or about this collaboration i do think it's purely because it's two top you know top 10 designer houses that collaborated with each other is the packaging i think everything from a from the the actual um products in in how they've actually done the logo and everything like that and how they've designed these products as well as the packaging has been impeccable the packaging is so so amazing i have to say just personally from my opinion the packaging on balenciaga is the best um i i honestly wanted to buy items from balenciaga just for the packaging it's it's amazing if you do manage to get your hands on something you'll see what i'm talking about the balenciaga packaging comes in this really really stunning limited edition um bb it's it's just amazing their boxing the packaging that they've done it's it's on are honestly out of this world they have done an amazing job with that the gucci side what they've done is they've literally kept it very much to um their current uh packaging and what they've done is they've just married the two so um for example the gucci comes like in green packaging and balenciaga's gray so they've literally just done half gray and half green with the ribbons in green with both gucci and balenciaga on them the dust bags is also married so it's half gucci dust bag half balenciaga dust bag and inside the gucci box as well it's all printed with balenciaga so it is very limited edition the the attention to detail that they've done with this packaging is just second to none and um i think it's really really brilliant so i think that's what really happens when you have these type of collaborations i'm not sure what the north face one looks like um but just with this one i just think it's been great so that's just my kind of uh take and opinions on this new uh hacker project um that's launched between gucci and balenciaga do have a look i'll put all the details down below for you have a look see if you score one let me know what you think if you did manage to get one let me know i'd love to hear from you guys and again watch out i'm going to be uh posting some videos up this week of some of the items that i did manage to uh get my hands on and review for you guys if you are new to my channel guys please don't forget to subscribe if you have any questions do pop them in the comments box down below please do follow me on instagram at simply kashfa and uh, thanks so much for watching guys and i hope you have a fantastic week take care bye